Hi folks, Fuzz here, welcome to yet another Nino Kuni 2 DLC episode. And today we're actually going to be advancing our kingdom, something we haven't done in, well, what seems to be a long, long time indeed. So in order to unlock this next part of kingdom advancement, you first need to make your way through the A Tale of a Timeless Time uh, DLC, which is obviously the latest one that we're going through right now. And you just need to make your way through the first part of the quest. Uh, I've done videos and all of that which you can check out uh, if you need any help with it. Until you get to the point in the quest line that is called uh, Follow That Rabbit, Build a Hotel in Evermore. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be seeing where this takes us, how we do it, what we get from it, etc, etc. So I hope you enjoy the episode and let's get started. Right then, so once you've got the quest to this particular place, all we're going to do is go ahead and access the ma uh, Kingdom Management window and just go ahead and build in the spot as we normally would and as we have been up until this point when building in the Kingdom. So there's nothing really special about it as far as I can tell. So we're just going to go ahead here and select the Build Facility option. And this is going to build new moon rooms or something along those lines it says. Uh, and as you can see, it's going to cost 150,000 Kingdom Guilders. Since we've already reached the cap a long, long time ago, I don't think uh, that's going to be a huge problem. So, as a matter of fact... Oh, I was going to say we can speed up the research, but no, no need to do that. Since it's an instant build anyway. How helpful. Uh, and that actually completes the quest for us. Right, that is the end of the quest. So, it was a multi-part quest. And now we get access to the hotel, pay a visit to Evermore's first hotel, the New Moon Rooms. And take a trip to Dreamland and meet the conductor again. What could he want from us next? Okay, so that's pretty much how we're going to continue to advance the DLC, by the looks of things. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother with the leaf book, but you can check out the no doubt humorous messages in there that have just popped in, uh, if you wish to do so. Uh, let's have a nosy on in, shall we? Let's just check the map once more. Yeah, we can see it's nicely placed on the uh, uh, in the kingdom there. So, should we go ahead and stay a night? Yeah, we can do. One thing I want to check before we do that, though, is if we go to the trip door map. Yes, there's still these question marks that I'm interested in knowing what that's going to unlock. Uh, I'm assuming it's to do with this DLC. Could be to do with the Lair of the Lost Lord, because I didn't actually ever complete that. I need to get back to it. But I'm pretty sure this is from the current DLC. So I guess as we continue to advance the quests, then that's going to make itself uh, known to us. Right, let's see what uh, is going on here then. In the dreamlike state, where the conductor tends to hang out. Oh, this is an interesting area.
Ah, interesting. We do actually learn a new spell then. I was wondering if we might at some point. Right, okay, so we've gone ahead and accepted the next part of the quest, and look, look at this, recommended level 130, and it's going to involve hunting down six high higgledies, something that we've not been uh, made aware of previously, so I'd be interested to really just get into finding out what all this is about. We get a little bottle as a reward, not exactly sure what's so special about that, but I guess we'll find out in due course. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make it our active quest. This is quite uh, a substantial quest I imagine that we're about to undertake. And this is what I was hoping for from the DLC for Nino Kuni 2. Rather than just, you know, dungeons like we got with the Lair of the Lost Lord. Don't get me wrong, uh, I've enjoyed that dungeon. Although it's got a little bit uh, annoying because of the lack of save points. But more substantial story content as well is uh, really what I was hoping for. So, yeah, I'm glad to see this. Would have liked some more voiceover work, of course. But that was always a problem, even with the main game. There just wasn't enough of it. Although it seems in this DLC, there's just none whatsoever. Okay, so I guess we're going to uh, make sure that we have a quest for each Higgledy that we rescue. And so that first quest we just picked up was the overarching quest. And then we're going to have to complete all of these six quests for uh, the main quest. And the reward for this one, my first uh, melee manual, I'm assuming that's to do with the martial methods. So people were wondering how we get more points and stuff. Uh, I'm kind of going to get the impression that it's going to be from quests and whatnot. So the Midnight Garden is the mysterious realm where you'll find the six doors that lead to the memory lanes inside, which hide the high higgledies who need rescuing. You can also return to the house where you found the wizard's companion, or test your metal by entering the non-stop battleground of the Solosseum Slog. Yeah, I heard of that in the trailer. I was looking forward to it actually, so we'll have to test that out at some point. But for now, we must focus on the first Higgledy, uh, which means we need to find the key. So that's going to be back behind us. I guess none of these doors are currently accessible then. So let's just see how many doors there are. So there's one, two over there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like nine doors. So that's a lot of exploring we've got to do. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, awaken from the dream as we start to hunt down, I guess, this first key here. Right, so if we just bring up the map, bring up the trick door map, have we got an objective somewhere splattered on the screen? Oh, I'm not seeing one, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, I am. There it is. Auntie Martha's Cottage. Hey, we're going to be paying a visit to Martha. Had a feeling she might be coming into play, seeing as how we're talking about Higgledies and what have you. Okay, might be high Higgledies, uh, but Higgledies nonetheless. And if there's only one person that we ever need to speak to about Higgledies, of course it has to be Auntie Martha, doesn't it? Uh, where is she? Oh, she's not here. But there is actually a nice little red flashy thing. So, oh, Auntie Martha's in the kingdom. But this, on the other hand... Could be something of use. 
may be a key since we're casting the materialized spell. Ah, a picture of a young woman. Okay. Right, so we need to head back then to the king. Oh, hang on. Hang on a cotton picking minute. Hmm, something shattered into pieces then. A small ribbon of some kind. Oh, okay, I've got it. What it was is those red shiny things must have been there the whole time. And we just weren't sure exactly which one it was that we needed to pick up. So we just happened to be lucky and grabbed the correct uh, shiny straight off the bat. So, yeah, I'm guessing that's all those uh, other ones were. Just decoys. Decoys to the actual key that we needed. And let's head back to... Ah! It's there! So, that's the question marks. It's the Midnight Garden. Allows us to go straight back to the Dream World state here without having to uh, mess about staying at the inn and what have you. Brilliant. So now we have access to the Conductor's world immediately going forward. Yep, so using that key, we've gone ahead and unlocked our first memory lane. Okay, and interestingly, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure memory lanes are how we're going to advance the martial method by getting more points, levelling it up. Uh, mostly because inside memory lanes is where I think we'll find the chests and what have you that contain the items and the manuals. That we will need to do that. Alright then guys. Well we've gone ahead. Unlocked the new realm here. Built the hotel. And basically got a good idea as to where the DLC is going to take us from here. And by golly this looks like it's going to be quite an involved uh, part of the story doesn't it. The DLC story. So yeah. I'm very excited to get into this. But we'll go ahead and take a break. I need to go and get some lunch. And then we'll come back next time. And head into our first memory lane. So I hope you guys will want to come back and join me for that. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>